<laughs> oh me oh my welcome back cartel my people my lovelies i have a very special treat for you guys for this build today um if you guys have been following me you guys know that each build that i make is dependent on the current playthrough that i'm doing and the current level that i'm at that being said this is a very very end game build i'm talking level 250 plus and this is what i would like to call the shiny black mixtape build <laughs> um let's get into my stats first things first level 252 uh heavy priority on faith um i boosted my arcane up to 17 that's for a very specific reason i'll get into a little bit later um dexterity i'm still working on i plan to have that at a 60 at the very least and in vigor i want to get up to a 70 at the very least um other than that these are my stats um <laughs> level 252 dog what can i say what can i say i'm on new game plus four right now and i'm planning to do like a discovery run or a lore based run where i do like every quest line and try to do everything there is to do on my new game plus five <laughs> but um yeah man let's get into my incantations before we actually get into the build itself uh because the weapons they're a little bit harder to come by um First things first. Um, like I said, this build is black mixtapes. <laughs> but they're also shiny. I'll get into that a little bit later. But there's a main focus on... There's two main focuses. There's And one of them is Black Fire. Um, black Flame Ball, amazing. Scouring Black Flame, amazing. Black Flame Witch Rule, amazing. Especially against bigger enemies. Bigger enemies... They're going to be getting ate alive by this shit. Especially when you stack it with Rotten Breath. Rotten Breath and this combine it? Bro, they're taking they're taking stupid amounts of damage. <laughs> um entry heal. A necessity tool. Because um the way we have our the way we have our things allocated. Where we have our stuff allocated, we have more magic potions than we have healing potions. So entry heal is great considering that this could just full heal you basically. It's a good way to save on resources. Flame cleanse me is a good way to boost up my fire. <clears throat> and dragon maw, this is what the arcane is for. Basically to help us out with um, our dragon damage because we have a nice little dragon bite. That's just for the lulls. Um for my Mundurus Razik. I'm kind of just experimenting right now. I'm actually about to change this off. Um, I'm about to rock this one for right now. And let's go back to the restoring HP because I do like that. Um, I haven't really had an issue as far as like, or I haven't really even seen my health go down to the point where the restoration actually takes into effect, you know? So. Let's get into my weapons. Um, first things first, what I'm holding in my hand right now, oops, what I'm holding in my hand right now is the God Slayer Great Sword. Um, this thing is basically the ultimate complement to this Black Flame build. Now, I was primarily stacked in the strength beforehand when I was using the um, the Great Scythe or the Glaive. Because it scaled off strength, but for some fucking reason, all the black flame incantations and all the black flame weapons that you get in this game just seem to scale off dexterity for some reason. And I don't know why it is. Like, all the best faith weapons just seem to scale off dex. And this is no exception. But man, this is a great weapon. exceptional damage it has the damage over time great for close range and great for single enemies knock certain enemies on their ass excellent the one weakness to this weapon 
is its lack of range. Its weapon art doesn't really, despite the way it looks, this doesn't really throw out a slash like you would expect it to. It doesn't like throw out like a little Getsuga Tensho. That would make this weapon fucking just perfect. <laughs> if you could throw out a little Getsuga with this shit. Oh my god, this this weapon would just be monstrous. But we have a backup that's even more broken than this. Well, this weapon is even broken, to be honest. This, on the other hand, is... This is the Envoy's Longhorn. I don't even have it maxed out yet because I don't have an Ancient Dragon Smith and Stone yet. Or the somber Ancient Dragon Smith and Stone, I'm sorry. But this thing against gank fights and against fucking specifically the Gosuke and Duo when I say gank fights, but against <laughs> against um, bigger enemies specifically, especially oh my god, the amount of damage you can do is ridiculous. I'm gonna go fight a giant real quick just to show you just how powerful this thing can be. <laughs> here goes one right here. He's laying down, chilling the fuck out. So instead of having to worry about going in, I could just pull this out, call down a nice little bubble shower. And the amount of damage I just did speaks for itself, bro. And just like that, he's already on his ass. Call down one of these. Now I can go ahead and use my black flames. He dodged that. I'm gonna call down the black flame incantation. He's running away a little bit, throwing some rocks at me, but that's okay. We could just heal that out. And we're gonna throw this down. Throw that down. And you see how he's trying to attack from close range like that? We don't even gotta worry about getting up too close to him. Now he gonna wind up. Boom. Boom. And we're just gonna go ahead and get some big boy damage because he's gonna get up. Yeah, I got hit right there because I'm an idiot. Don't worry about that. <laughs> but yeah, man. That hurt. That tickled a little bit. But look, though. I don't even have to worry about getting close to all that. Look at that. 3K just, just off the rip. I don't even have this max out yet. This is probably going to hit 4K. But you don't know what to do, bro. He's, he's freaking the fuck out. <laughs> he's freaking out right now. He, he's doing everything he can. Yeah, dude. Easy. Now to show you guys the maximum potential of this, I'm getting ready to go fight the Dragon Ball, so I'm currently at New Game Plus 4, like I already said, if I if I did say that before. But man. I don't even have a great rune on. Let me throw on a great rune real quick. Where's my uh Yeah, here we go. Pop this. Look at that. Health takes up over half the screen. Let me show you just how dangerous this build can really be. This build is crazy. Call this in. Get that little bit of health back. Where are you at, dragon? Yeah, dragon, I know you're going to make it extra misty, extra chilly. It's probably the most annoying dragon of all of them, just for the simple fact. This frostbite is fucking nasty. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and combine this. We're going to combine this with the power of the... Um, We're gonna combine this with the power of the black frame ritual to get behind them, and then we're gonna fuck them up. And 
he's, he's he's falling a little frostbite, but that doesn't even matter. Cause look at look at the bubbles. Peep the bubbles. Just like that, man. Easy. Easy. This build goes so fucking crazy, it doesn't make any fucking sense. So yeah, man. I think that was a pretty well worth example. I didn't even have to get embarrassed like I normally do. <laughs> so yeah, man. Go ahead and um get your level up. Um, if you guys want any tips on how to get your level up, because I leveled up. This is probably one of the easier games to level yourself up compared to any other Souls game that I've ever played, man. The farming methods on this game is fucking ridiculous. But yeah, if you guys want some methods on leveling up, man, let me know. I'll um I'll drop some videos on that. Get yourself up to a nice little 250 and you can be up here with the big dogs just smacking stuff, you know, like it ain't nobody's business. But yeah, man, try out the build, see how you feel about it, and I'll catch you on the next one. Oh boy, it's a dog. More? Bro. Oh, so you just thought you just thought you gonna embarrass me at the ass end of my video, huh? You can eat a dick. <laughs>